sorry about that. Got me Bose sound link on the go. Got the savage, savage beats in the van. Right, what are we up to? We are off to Dave's. Where did we left off, leave off yesterday? Oh yeah, I was taking the car back from the port. Um, I showed my missus when we got back. It was literally pitch black when I showed her, so it wasn't really worth recording it. But today I'm actually off to Garage 21 to drop the S15 off to start all the work on getting it prepared for the road. Realistically, Georgie's probably not going to drive it till about sort of end of February, March time when the weather gets a bit nicer and there's no salt on the roads. Um, but obviously we've got all that cool content to look forward to. Dave's also removed all the glass from my JZX now in preparation for the cage work with, uh, with Billy Hoskins, HDF Fabrication. Don't forget to give Billy a little follow down here. I know quite a lot of you guys have been taking your cars to Billy because he's one of the, well, one of the sickest fabricators I certainly know. Um, so yeah, make sure you check out his page and give him a little cheeky follow. I'm gonna crack on with the journey. I've got about an hour left to go before I get to beautiful Kov. So I'll see you sexy people in a minute. Ta -da. Here we are, the party van made it all good. There is a little bit of mud on the old S15 because I managed to get the van and the trailer stuck yesterday, which was really interesting. Luckily, the Volvo came to my rescue and managed to pull us all out. Nice to actually see the old beast in the in the daylight. Right. Oh, bad boy Civic, Max's car. What the fuck? What are these lights? Ugh. They're rank. <laughs> Who's put these rank lights on? Right, so we got. Clean S15, not so clean S15. Garage 21, make sure you do a cheeky little follow. Dave needs as many as he can get. Hello. Oh, hello everybody. Jay's and X. Where's the floor, man? Where's the fucking floor? How oh. you doing, guys? Where's Davey? There he is. Hello. hello. Oh, no. How you doing, Batman? How good you're catching? <laughs> you we got a titanium trust exhaust in this. This exhaust is probably worth well over a thousand pounds. Proper sick. Well, it gets the approval from Dave, which makes me very happy. I tell you what, Dave, it's proper quiet the compared to my car. It does the, uh, the trust system has large back box and a big center box in it. Thirty mil rear over fenders, which I personally like. I'm not a fan of the sort of fifty and sixty mil fenders. I think this kind of keeps the, the lines of the car in, in my opinion, of course. And then twenty five mil front fenders as well, with nice little, nice little ducks. Very, very special car. This. We definitely won't let John do any driving. Dave just made a very good point. He looked inside the old oil cap and it looks to be very clean in there. You can't really tell on the camera, but quite reassuring. It's also got a set of cams in there, we would assume. Dave's just spotted, it's got an HKS manifold downpipe as well. It's probably a full HKS turbo kit, isn't it? Yeah. This is a special little car, this man. Yeah, how's this worked out? My missus has got a better car than me. <laughs> right, start the beast up. Make sure she's not in gear. Definitely, uh, definitely neighbour friendly. And there we have it, one S15 successfully delivered all the way from Japan. Good old power vehicles all the way to lovely Garage 21. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I've just had to expel John because he was very erratic. So apologies for that, viewers. Do not follow John's lead. We've got the two beasts. Look at this, surely the two coolest S15s in the UK right now. This car's only done 25,000 miles, 35 or 36,000 kilometers from you. This is probably the lowest mileage S15 in the country right now. Just got to think though, once we've got the car low and sorted the wheels out like my car, it's going to look proper sick. I'll quickly show you guys the difference in exhaust note and how quiet this white 15 really is. boys have now finished preparing the Mark II, um, so I'm going to get the 15s out of the way, turn the trailer around and then we're going to do a little bit of a push and get the Mark II on the trailer. Right, the boys are being very careful with these because they're about 400 quid to replace. Now, basically the whole point of taking the windscreens out um, is so that Billy's got access to obviously put the new roll cage in and he doesn't obviously want to damage the windscreen when he does it. Same thing with the rear one which will be coming out just now. You going for it? I'm filming. I'm panicking. <laughs> I'm panicking too, I man. I want to the wheel. <laughs> it fits. It fucking fits. We were very worried that this car wouldn't actually physically fit on the trailer, but it fucking does. And there we have it. One JZX safely loaded on the trailer. Right, the car is now in the air, and we must say it is pretty goddamn clean under here. There's a couple of small little marks, but overall, for an S body and considering the age, it's fucking mint. Mmm, titanium. Cusco camber arms and the rear suspension is KTS rear dampers with what Swift Swift, Swift springs Swift springs yeah. and on the front uh, they are Tain Tines whatever you say Tine Teen Tain oh yeah cool and modified knuckles like you said so it has been a has been skidded at some point in this car what's also quite mad if you guys look where it here it's got a little cooler that's actually a gearbox cooler if you look back you follow the pipes back yeah to pump. Then onto the gearbox here. Oh yeah, mad. And what's that there? Like a little filter? Yeah. Filter Crazy. Really There's no box. You don't, you've got a varied spec though. These yeah. are quite rare. These are Duloc chassis braces. Oh yeah, fuck. Right, the spec on this is mad. This titanium exhaust is lovely. You can just feel how light it is, man, just by touching it. No. That's a power brace. The box section these as well. Right, so that bit's Nismo brace. Oh yeah, and no, I see what you're saying. They've actually box yeah. sectioned the... And they've, and they've bought this on as a separate, just a separate brace, really. Yeah. Um, it's got Cusco front tension rods on it as well. Yeah. And then yeah, GTR drive shafts and GTR hubs and GTR diff as well, which is pretty, means it's definitely good for a few clutch kicks. Out of 10. Oh, a strong nine. And that is, for Dave, that is very, that is, very, for, in my books, that's 20 out of 10. <laughs> One quite surprising thing is it's still got a cat in it, which is probably half the reason it's still pretty quiet. I think this trust system and everything is designed to be quite quiet, but yeah, it still has the Catalytic converter. I'm not sure if that's a sports cat or is that the original cat? Uh, original, yeah. Original cat, yeah. It has a bracket on here to support the heat shield. Monkey's very happy. And Dave and Alex likes it, so I'm even happier. <laughs> that is pretty much a wrap. The JZX is all loaded. Obviously, we're going to be seeing Billy first week of December, so we've got all that to look forward to. I'm going to be catching up with the lads in the next couple of weeks, reference the Civic, because we've got mapping coming up at the end of November. The boys are going to start cracking on with the S15. Obviously, I've got to try and get back before it rains and there's no screens in the JZX, so I need to start making a move. Much love from you, sir. Thank you. Sir Alex. As always, hope you guys enjoyed that cheeky little video. Make sure to give me a like, put any comments down below, I'll do my best to get back to you, and I'll see you soon.